wants to cook with Andrea and, and we actually is like sort of like met when we were in Japan. In Tokyo. Yeah. And I always look at her Facebook and I always saw her cooking so so many stuff. And I was like, Andrea, let's cook together together. But so, I only make simple stuff, like, I don't make difficult stuff. But it's but it's, but it's, but it's nice. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make um this Chinese soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very simple. How about you? Are you gonna what are you gonna teach us today? I'm so, just gonna do uh, a very easy pasta salad with um, peanut butter sauce. Oh. Sounds really strange. But wow, it's but it's very interesting. Peanut butter sauce. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone uses <laughs> peanut butter and what? With, with what sauce again? It's peanut butter and soy. Or okay. you can always substitute because it's originally like tahini with um, miso mm. paste. Um, but so I found like peanut butter and soy sauce actually does kind of the same thing and it's easy to find. So maybe you want to show us the rest of the ingredients? Yeah, it's just all that. Okay, so... Um, so are you, you can use like soba noodles, uh, mm. but sometimes it's easier to find angel hair pasta. Corn, um, red peppers, tau kwa or tofu, mm. and any kind of like string beans or green beans. As long as it's not too watery, so you don't want like cucumber and things like that, because oh, yeah. it will release a lot of water yeah. unless you know how to salt it and extract the water out. So it's better to use like vegetables, like beans and stuff, so okay. it's not so like watery. So that you don't get a, like a very drowning salad. <laughs> <laughs> drowning salad. Yeah, and the sauce is just peanut butter and soy. Um, you can also use a bit of olive oil to mm. kind of get it all moving and mixed up in the salad. Okay, okay. So how shall we do this? Okay, so now it's like cutting and I think maybe with the boiling first. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, <what kind> of <laughs> Oh yes, always wash your hands before you cook, everyone. <laughs> Especially for me, I always start my hair and after that I still... Very gross eh. <laughs> <laughs> no lah, it's very... You know like, even at work, you always start your hair and then after yeah. that, da 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 So it's like, it's like habit. I also, of course I will like, wash my hand every time. So how you gonna do the corn? You want to just like... Yeah, just slice off the... The kernels from the cork. So it just sounds like organic corn and stuff. Especially if you're gonna eat it raw, then maybe it'll make sense. It's not that much more expensive. Yeah. Because I always find it's like sometimes it's too ridiculous, it's too expensive. And now I'll just like. <laughs> I don't know. Just. Uh, yeah, just eat lah. As long as no MSG is good, really. Yeah, I think MSG is the worst. It's the worst thing. I read somewhere that they say it's not true. Like. Serious? Yeah, they say there's no scientific evidence apparently that MSG causes hair loss. Yeah? Then how those girls lose their hair? MSG, massive stress. Don't know what. <laughs> so like New York, London, like all the all the Amor, more they will more eat more tofu. Correct, right? correct. Because now it's like it's in the you know more vegetarian, so they will actually just eat more tofu, dakwa. Mm. A lot of people are using um dairy substitutes now. So soy is oh, a yes. very common dairy substitute. Yeah, I have a friend who's allergic to um lactose, mm. and it includes um butter as well. Huh? Damn sad, like you can't go out, you can't eat anything basically. Oh my god. So last time you cannot go butter factory also. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they did some tests, they realized it's lactose and it includes butter. And anything that has milk powder in it, which is like sausages and a lot of processed foods actually have milk powder inside. Huh? Yeah. So like even like oh, one chicken made nuggets also have that. Huh? Yeah. Because it gives her a allergic reaction. But I think more people are more health conscious nowadays, so we will tend to cook for ourselves more yeah. and to find out more about what goes into our food and stuff like that. I realize mine's a very vegan. Like my dish is vegan. Yeah. And hey, so this. Oh yeah. yeah it's entirely vegetarian. So there's no egg inside for this part? There's no egg, there's no butter, no milk, and there's a lot of raw vegetables. Wow, okay. You get some good. <laughs> wow, you don't use so much? Yes, just use all la. I can't stand keeping stuff. I like to just use everything la, then just keep whatever, then eat it for the next few days long. Oh, oh my god. I know. That's what I like me, I'm like... Why well, you must have variety one la. Yeah, if I, I Especially variety. if I'm cooking and I'm the only one who eats it, right? Then no point wa. Okay, I always have to transfer in another bowl because like, I have no strength to carry the whole bowl with water inside. <laughs> I'm also getting a steam facial. Not bad, yeah. You 
cooking at the same time and getting fish at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we we just gonna be very lazy and just use the same pot water to to just blanch the fish. You put a salt. You put any salt actually? Ah, you didn't put salt. Because after you can put like dressing and stuff. I think I came up with this during the time that I was very very health conscious. I was like one part of the time that I was very very health conscious. I was looking at like salt content and sugar content mm. of things. Uh, so that's why I wouldn't like excessively salt or shouldn't play though. Know. I was I was at one point like very very confused. Oh, no, 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 I don't care what I eat. Uh. <laughs> I always eat things, I mean I like things raw and I always think that if you enjoy it raw then something that's good for you. Like, so yeah, you it's just doing it to taste. So what's the ratio like for the for this? I usually just do it to taste to be honest. Um makes sense lah. Yeah. Because all the peanut butter they they, they they already have sugar, they already have yeah. salt inside, so you still don't know. And different peanut butter taste very different, so I think Correct. you still have to taste. So I think it's about like two tablespoons first, you can start off. And then the soy sauce is for my fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was too much. <laughs> okay, wait, let me toss out a bit first. <laughs> so pie And then we can keep adding. Wow. This soy is quite interesting, right? It's actually some gluten-free soy because normally um soy is has gluten in it. Okay. Yeah. This is a bit of liquid still in the water in the Actually should uh, should rinse with some cold water lah. Okay, you can actually yeah. rinse. Let me just rinse. So I'm just gonna add a bit of um, sesame oil so that because it depends on like the consistency of the peanut butter sometimes because mm. sometimes the peanut butter is um, stickier or has more oil so if it has its own oil then you don't have to add the sesame oil hi Nick yay yeah. uh, <laughs> don't need to look like what? wonton meat oh no <laughs> okay you know I need to drain the water So usually we just blanch the, the, the long beans for 5, five to 10 minutes? Actually it depends, la. some people yeah. like it like more raw. So yeah. we are just using some of the pasta water. Just, just to make it more fluid. La. Yeah. <laughs> it's always more fun to like cook with friends. That alone, right? Oh, it's actually one that can clean up. <laughs> so you want to fly me to London now? Yeah. <laughs> fly me to London please. Oh my, I can smell the peanut butter. Mm. And it's like cream, creamy kind of sauce now. Yeah. Even though there was no cream that was inside. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. So you can include the beans. Mm. Um, and the topper. Yep. Yay. It's getting more and more colourful. Oh yes, you know what? I just remember. You can put tau pot on salad. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think like this thing can like put anything. It doesn't really matter like. Yeah. Do you know that you, you use tau pot right? You just put it in the oven. You actually like can make it into like croutons. So usually you just like preheat the oven. Then after that you can just put your tau pot in. So if you want, you can just add a bit of salt, just sprinkle over it, and be fine. Then yeah, just leave it for like. Five, five, eight minutes, depending on how crispy you want the top pot to be. So now we're gonna take out the top pot. I think it's ready. Are you ready to look at the top pot? Top pot. The way you top pot. Like, it's like Ooh. very gross, lah. No. Why? No. So oxy. <laughs> top pot. The top pot. The top pot. Our cottons. Is that nice? Right? Mm. Yeah. Well, perfectly. Hmm. So actually what you can do right, you just sprinkle a bit of salt right, then you'll, be, you'll taste even better also. So what you can do right, you can put all the top pots, all the top pots around. So even like on the photos right, you will give a bit of texture to, to it also. 